Hello, everybody. Uncle Wooly here for Elden Ring. <laughs> it's been quite a while since I've said that, so I'm I'm really happy to getting back into the lands between with our little boy Papu in Elden Ring. We're up to part nine, is it right? Part nine? My goodness. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. So a little, little recap is last stream of Elden Ring. We took down Renala, uh, the Moon Queen, and we also took down, uh, in a fit of revenge, uh, the Abductor Virgins after upgrading our uh, our blade to, like, I think, plus four, plus five, something crazy like that. So uh, it made second phase of Renala uh, much more bearable. <laughs> Wimpy GG's on first, dude. Uh, our tonight's stream beer is the drive through Red. It is a dry hopped red ale from none other than the brewers um, either associated with or uh, part of uh, Trader Joe's. Inspired by the majestic drive through uh, chandelier giant sequoia tree, our drive through Red Ale is layered with a rich multi body and dry hopped with noble tetanang hops. And this is, of course, brewed and canned by Joseph Sproul uh, Brewing Company in San Jose, California. Sintank, good to see you, man. How, how are you doing? How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you're not staying up too late on a school night. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's, let's crack into this uh, stream beer and give you some puppy cam as well. Give you some of the puppies. There they are. There's the little girls. Uh, nap this afternoon. And wow, that uh, beer foamed out on me something crazy. I did not expect that. And I just cleaned uh, the stream room. <laughs> so bear with me a second as I get this cleaned up. My goodness, that thing just started overflowing on me. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, naps are amazing if you can get them. Wow, that thing foamed out like crazy. I just cleaned everything in here this weekend too. <laughs> uh, but that's all right. We can always clean some more. So uh, please bear with me while I take care of that real quick. Yeah. Like a fox. Like a fox, Wimpy. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, definitely uh, messed that one up. That's for certain. GG's on first, uh, by the way, Wimpy. GG's there. How are you doing? Happy Tuesday. My gosh. Maybe that's why it's so weird. I'm all uh, mixed up on nights because we're streaming on a non-typical night for me. <laughs> I think we might need a second stream beer because that one uh, feels like half of it foamed out. But we'll we'll cross that bridge if if and when we get to it. Were you looking for the uh, the Homer uh, execution one there, Wimpy? 
<laughs> I think that one might be three. It's hard for me to remember with all the uh, redeems you guys have. beginning to think that Homer Simpson was not the brilliant tactician I thought he was. Yep, now that explains, that explains me opening my stream beer tonight. Yep, that one uh, works for the two of us. <laughs> Oh, boy. That was a, a blunder of epic proportions. I think that's probably the biggest beer spill I've had on stream to date. And that counts the... Uh, mint milkshake beer that foamed out like crazy. Okay. Actually, a surprising amount left in there. Thanks, everybody, for chilling out while I got that taken care of. Sin, hopefully uh, you had a good weekend and a good Monday. And Wimpy, same with you, dude. Uh, we'll lift you a big old cheers here. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, that one tastes just slightly past its prime, but still good. Still a good beer. Knocked out a few plats. Uh, where are you at numbers-wise on the old uh, Platinum Trophy Trail? Because you've got to be getting somewhere close to 200 now, right? At least near 175. Because <clears throat> weren't you over 150 last time we talked? Or maybe I'm just wishful thinking. Oh, 175. Excellent. Okay. So I wasn't too far off then. Wasn't too far off. I'm going to hop into some gameplay here. And let me unmute this. And if at any point audio needs rebalanced, just let me know. Uh, this is my first time playing this game since I changed some audio settings. So if we need to change it up a little bit, feel free to let me know. Should get another one tonight. Excellent, dude. Excellent, excellent. So we'll see if it uh, saved where we were at. <laughs> it did. Excellent. As we took down the uh, abductor virgins last time, here in the old, uh, the old cave of wonders. What's her weapon level here? Yeah, the Bloodhound's Fang we have now to plus four, which is pretty nice. Mount Gelmir. Praise the Erd Tree. That, oh, there's a side of grace down there. And I, I don't know if I can summon. Uh, oh, 
I didn't mean to rate that poor. I am sorry, person. That's, uh, I agree with you. That was my bad. Um, <laughs> and thanks for understanding on the rescheduling a stream. Um, I went and t attended a concert last night, so it was, uh, I think, well, well needed. I, I'm a person that really enjoys live music, and so if I can't get live music over a, a long number of months, I, I definitely feel it. It's definitely good for the soul. So we, a uh, group of friends and I went to um, Puddles Pity Party. If anybody's familiar with Puddles, he's a uh, a singing clown who uh, pretty much doesn't speak, but uh, sings just beautifully. Uh, beautiful, beautiful singing voice. And he's done a lot of stuff with uh, Postmodern Jukebox, if you're familiar with their work. Uh, definitely worth uh, checking out if you get the opportunity. Honestly, very, very entertaining show. And I'm not much for clowns, uh, mind you. I watched it when I was far too young, and so uh, as such, I am not a fan of clowns, but uh, that one definitely won me over last night. Yeah. You gotta recognize the clown game, right, Jared? <laughs> I'm, I've been clowning around a little too much, and so uh, being around like-minded individuals was pretty nice. <laughs> How's it going, dude? Happy Tuesday. Hopefully you had a great weekend. It is good to see you, man. But uh, definitely, if you get a chance to see uh, Puddle's Pity Party, definitely do it. Fantastic show. I don't like the looks of whatever that is. Seed. Forgot that uh, I can't pause this game. <laughs> so I've been used to uh, playing games that I can pause, so I'm going to have to get used to that. Shania on Sunday and trolling Hagel stream. How was how was Shania? Uh, I'm guessing you uh, that was in uh, F Town. And how was your visit to Brujala, too? Uh, any standout favorites from the, uh, the visit? Your cousin's wife opened for her. Dude, that's amazing. That has got to feel uh, pretty amazing. open for one of the biggest names in, in country music. That's pretty cool. I don't like the sheer number of these dudes. Send you a screenshot on Graham. Okay. Please do, dude. Please do. Just check this. Oh, that's probably you. Yeah. Let's take a peek. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll have to catch the rest of that after stream. <laughs> Thank you, dude.
I don't want to I don't want to dox anybody. Ruhala was good. Selection was only okay. Yeah, it kind of seems like sometimes um, their selection is, you know, kind of mediocre. And then other visits, it's like, I need this just to be on regular rotation always, you know. But even their mediocre lineups are still pretty good. New Junkyard, though. Um, so is that one in uh, West uh, F-Town. Ooh, that hurt a lot. Okay, I wasn't aware that that was open yet, so I might have to go check that out sometime soon. It might be a little bit easier than uh, their past location to get to. Oh, it's only their second week. Okay. I know they were working on a pretty big spot over there. Is it pretty large? Pretty large place. I mean, they make great beer, so I'm hoping that they can expand uh, some of their distribution. Because that would be amazing. Oh, got another side of grace here. Very nice. Very nice. Um, what is this over here that keeps injuring each other? Or any type of cave here. It almost looked like it might be illusionary, but alas, it is not. Uh, let me know if I need a boost or uh, a quiet game audio at all at any point. I haven't played the game since I made some major adjustments to the old uh, audio profile, so. Oh boy, hate these dudes. Good thing we got a side of grace right here. Good thing we got a side of grace right here. And that guy wants some, which I'm not a fan of. Oh boy. Wow. Can you please take your guy down? Thank you. Oh, we're getting close. <laughs> of course we're dead. Where's that put us? 289 deaths in the game so far. My lord. My lord. Definitely blew away. Uh... The deaths in uh, Bloodborne. I feel like I got pretty lucky on some of the, the bosses on Bloodborne. Okay, now I don't have to worry about that guy as much. Nope, he's gonna turn around. Yeah. supposed to dodge that. It's just insane. <laughs> we'll get him. We'll get him.
Got to get used to the old mechanics again. <laughs> hey, welcome in. I I would understand that anywhere. Um, I don't recognize the username though. Uh, I'm gonna say Huntress because I'm used to saying Huntress, but uh, Delilah, I can definitely change that for you if you want me to uh, have that command changed. Welcome on in. Good to see you. How are you doing? Happy Tuesday. Yeah, I can definitely change that for you. That's not a problem at all. Uh, it's easy change. It's just uh, wooly remembering to change things is, is the problem. So I will make a note for myself here to change that after stream. So I don't forget. Oh boy, I'm in a very bad way here. <laughs> the Elden Ring is going well. So at the end of the last stream before I got into the Scary Month games, uh, we took down Renala, the Moon Queen, and also, uh, who else did we take down? Uh, we got revenge on the Abductor Virgins. So that's kind of where we're at. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. And we had about a month off from the game. So uh, I need to just, you know, dust off the old cobwebs here and uh, see what we can do. <laughs> well, hopefully you're, hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you had a happy Halloween recently and also uh, are, doing, are doing well. Had a good weekend and a happy start to the week. Um, Renala was tough until I upgraded my blade. Uh, I had a little bit of uh, assistance from Jared as far as like the right direction to go to get this blade on the upgrade path. It, it really set the tone, Jared. Yeah, I, the stream beer I cracked open just spilt everywhere immediately. Just foamed out like crazy. And ever since, <laughs> this guy has been bullying me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the um, once I got this blade upgraded, I pretty much one-shotted her uh, after that. Oh, dude, not fair. After you do a big charge, you should, you know, take a break. Maybe this is the way. I need to stay back here so he does the charge, and then it's easier to, uh, to stand up where he does the the fire twirl, or the fire tornado is just awful. Okay, come on now. Can you just? Here we go. That's a nope territory. That's back out. <laughs> that little fire tornado is no fun. Uh, quick little heads up, too. We do have an ad coming for our non-sub friends. A little heads up on that. Can you just not? If you do the charge thing, that would be excellent. A little charge would go a long way. Here we go. 
Oh. That was baloney. Big time baloney. There we are. There we are. Only took how many tries? Three tries? Four tries? <laughs> Very frustrating. There we go. Oh, and there's more. Isn't that just about perfect? Um, you know, if we could just not draw the ire of that thing, that would be also much better. I think that would be a, a much better plan of attack. Take my chances with the jellyfish. Jelly, 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 jellyfish. so bad. Oh, and then I mess it up on this one. <laughs> uh, that would have been funny. It's usually those moments where I get myself into trouble, where I Get a little too confident in what I'm doing in these games. And then the game goes, nah, you can't do that. Not allowed here. Not allowed in Miyazaki's house. Yep, just like that. Just like that. See? <laughs> um, Iniko, uh, that's cool. That is very generous of you. Um, I continue to do the Lord's work, but I am... Uh, Doing a no summon, kind of no aided playthrough <laughs> as a first playthrough of this game. But uh, hopefully you're doing well. Welcome on in. It is very generous of you. Uh, yeah, this guy again. Uh, this is wonderful. Yeah. You're supposed to take part of the friendly fire there, dude. Ow. That hurts. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't lose all those runes. Not now. <laughs> We've come too far to die like this. Can't lose those runes now. Can't lose those runes now. All right, can you charge me again? Oh, no, not you. I don't need you to charge me. I need that to charge me.
not what I want. Oh, very close. Almost, almost got him. There we go. He's got to learn how to fight. He's got to remember how to fight. It's like riding a very, very painful bicycle. I don't feel compelled to take down the uh, jellyfish squad, so let's head up here. Yeah, you can come this way. Just don't bring your friend, please. Uh, I would very much not want you to bring your friend, but you can come along. Yeah, yeah, you can come here, though, dude. Oh, his friend uh, decided to uh, come over anyway. Nope. Okay. Sneak attack would have been nice, but... Uh Give us that bleed. Bleed, baby, bleed. Monk's uh, flame mace. That's pretty cool. And that flame hood seems pretty legit. Oh, there's another one of you here, isn't there? Let me sneak... Oh, no, he's got keen ears. No, 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 no. Oh, ho, ho. I can actually go back to uh, that one study um, place that I was at before. I'm just going to explore here just a little bit longer. But we definitely need to go back to the... It starts with the C. I forget the name. But we need to go back to that study for certain. Fort Laid. Laid. Um... All right, dude. Be no need to blow your top like that, but it's, it's like fire smoke. Oh boy, he hits like a truck. And I can't see in this tent. Let me out. patterns. Yeah, he's quick. Yeah, usually no more than two hits. Oh, not good. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh no. I am stuck. 
this seems like a much worse battle arena. Let's uh, lure him back upstairs. <laughs> he is a much faster and fiery version of Smo. Mattis Dog, welcome in, dude. How are you doing? Up late on a weeknight. I'd expect none different. Nope. Yep, that's certain death. <laughs> I went back for those runes, though. We might have to uh, try to run in. We might have to do this guy a little bit later. <laughs> how are you doing how is your you're already ahead of us on wednesday how's it, how's it going man i'm i'm not used to saying these words because i'm not used to streaming on tuesday nights big cheers man um let's see if we can maybe sneak past all this all this business See if we can be a little smarter about this. Super lethargic after 6 a.m. gym sesh, followed by a regular day, then some tins in the eve. Yeah, I would say that's uh, that's pretty busy, dude. <laughs> uh, how was their uh, over uh, Overwatch uh, stream? Unfortunately, I had to work uh, at work. <laughs> for most of the day today, so I didn't even have much time to do the, the lore keys, but uh, hopefully they had some great streams. Oh boy. Yeah, that's get out of their territory. Man, I love the stagger on this weapon. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to... No, don't lay... This is a battlefield. Don't lay down. <laughs> Just a few streams away from Affiliate? That is excellent news, dude. Uh, well, let's definitely just, uh, you know, you got your auto shout out, but we can definitely shout the both of them out. Uh, of course, Melly the Belly. And uh, all to Katie. Definitely go say hello next time they're playing some Overwatch. That would be much, much appreciated. Um, come on, dude. Don't do this to me. I need those runes. You stand between me and my runes. See if we can sneak past fiery smoke and get our all of our runes back. I wasn't like mid combat. I was kind of like in between. <laughs> Run. <laughs> I 
uh, the one was just kind of queued up after the other one, so it, it looked like it was doing it uh, after, but uh, yeah. So I typed them both in before I started fighting that one guy. It, w it wasn't that impressive, I promise. <laughs> We got our runes back. That is definitely what counts here. Uh, let's see where we're at for leveling up. Do we have enough? Ooh, we do. And almost enough for two levels. Uh, I'm trying to remember where we were at. We were doing strength up and then we were getting our decks up. But I feel like endurance and vigor uh, need to go up as well. Let's do our endurance one and then Let's just get ourselves another level up before we go anywhere else. I think that's going to be the ticket here. And I think these guys give good experience, even though they're a pain to fight. get a bleed on him that would be nice get that bleed to proc that would be amazing uh, where are you going where are you going dude hey come back here and fight me close. I think we needed like, what, 1,600 to level up? Or 16,000. Yeah, close to 17,000. I think that was just 3,000 from that dude alone. some hits in, man. Oh, dude is getting pummeled. Just pummeled. enough. I think one more of these guys and we should be good to go. At least on the old level up here. Maddest, I'm getting excited because uh, in like a little over a week, I think maybe two weeks, it's going to be DJ Wife and I's uh, Lord of the Rings movie marathon and it is honestly one of my favorite things of the entire year is just to sit around for a few days drinking tons of tins eating lots of food uh, yeah are you gonna just have ring shaped food I mean we could that's not a bad idea it's not a bad idea could just cut everything into ring shapes <laughs> Ooh, that looked pretty crazy. Some blood magic. Let's 
stagger on this weapon is just truly amazing. Oh, you know what? I don't want to fight that thing. I just don't want to. But we could. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? <laughs> just an assortment of beige. <laughs> That's how you know it's good for you. Oh, no. I just won. Just one, not two. I never... Hey, I never said two. I never said anything about two of you. Yeah, two of those does not sound like fun. Oof. That's rough. They got the cult circle going over here. Should we see what they're up to? Hey, you did not have a burn permit. Oh boy. Okay, we're good. A little dicey there for a minute, but we're all right. And you know, I last year I had the Lord of the Rings IPA that Brewdog put out, and I just feel like um, that an IPA wasn't the choice. Like, it should not have been like what was produced for it being a, a Fellowship of the Ring beer, right? I know a lot of people like IPAs, but uh, it's not the first thing I think of when I think of uh, traveling through Middle Earth. I would think of more like a strong ale or a stout or even a porter. You know, something a little darker. Yeah, just ales, yeah. But an IPA just seems a little too I know that's kind of their bread and butter at uh, BrewDog. They make really good IPAs, very solid IPAs, but it's just, uh, yeah, felt like an easy way out. It was a good beer, but it just didn't scream Lord of the Rings to me, Is was the thing. Oh boy, I think I've drawn their ire. I think I've drawn their ire. Yeah, something a ruby ale would be really nice too. Uh, okay, there's a side of grace. I think that's enough exploring for this area. We're going to level up our endurance again. We're going to get our endurance up to 22, and then we're going to go uh, endurance and vigor. We're going to break our endurance up just a bit more. And, oh, we can add a charge to our flask, too. Sweet. That is excellent. Um, let's go. Uh, oh, yeah, this is way out in the middle of nowhere oh but there's a map marker there oh it's west oh i think i have to go through there to get to it so that's a that's a nope for now uh i need to find where was that study again Get down here no it was over here wasn't it yeah, the Carrion Study Hall. That's where we need to go. Because I believe we got an item from Ranala that needs to go here. That's what... That's what's going on.
Oh, wait, maybe not. Do we fit on the pedestal? <laughs> not crafting, but what about inventory? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure on that. But we could go talk to the other guy that needed a glint stone, though. Because I don't think we've been uh, been by to talk to him since the old uh, battle went down there. It was back here, wasn't it? No, that's Everjail. There we go. So we want to go to the uh, lake facing cliffs. Such a big game and and taking a month off from a big open world game and then trying to find your way again. Oh my lord. I feel like I'm drowning. I'm like Gandalf in the uh trying to find his way. I think it was in the Mines of Moria, right? When he goes, I have no memory of this place. Maybe I just need to find where the air doesn't smell so foul. Maybe that's it. Back to learn another. Why, of course. Head to the Academy of Rhea Lucaria. Carry on with your journey. Press forward with your fight. Don't bother holding yourself up for my sake. Okay. Well, that was pointless. I think I tried this game like four or five times. Uh, I just couldn't continue as there's zero story unless you finish the game, then watch. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Um, there is something that is want of the storytelling from FromSoft. They... Uh, they're very, uh, there's a lot of implicit story, and then you ha you have to seek out a lot of the, uh, the lore and everything, too. So, is this the plateau? Ben and Coffin... Dr. Virgin, Subterranean, okay. So maybe I need to get back up to there. But let's uh, let's go take a peek down here. Let's go say hello to the uh, Queen of the Full Moon. Hey, the Romo one. The dude one. <laughs> Welcome in, man. Good to see you. How are you doing? How are you doing? How is your... Jeez, I, I've been struggling with this all night. How was your Tuesday? <laughs> Always groovy. Thou, art thou now assured of thy want to be born a... No, I don't want to be born anew. Be not alarmed. Hmm? Came here for knowledge, uh, and you're failing to give me any, lady. <laughs> This is why a mate and I end up doing Dark Souls 3 without using any significant item because <laughs> we couldn't be to read any of the item descriptions. That, I mean, that's fair. That is fair. Yeah, I thought there was a side of grace up at the top. We'll see if that's it. I doubt that's it, but we'll try. Most of the day doing some chores and getting ready to hit up Disneyland tomorrow, dude. It sounds like a heckin' good time. Uh, any big attractions, things that you're you're, you know, are on the must see list or must uh, must do list, or uh, just gonna kind of get there and just kind of wing it. 
because that's cool too. That I'm always torn between just winging it and uh, planning a lot out. Uh, I just hit up the Rise of the Resistance ride. It's the only one I haven't seen. Okay. Well, hopefully the lines aren't too long. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Calm down now. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. All right. It looks like uh, riding on the mount it is. going the way it was pointing us. But, uh, down for the exploration. Oh, at avoiding the lines, my brother works uh, for the park as a fabricator. Oh, dude. That's cool. That is very cool. I mean, on, on the fabricator part, for sure. And that uh, you know you have you have means to uh, get through the lines in a in a timely process. Um, let's see here. Well, that's what I mean. And and I was trying to find a way to phrase it that didn't downplay that. You know what I mean? I was trying to say that it's not awesome that you had to earn it. Um, if that makes sense. But the fact that you've earned it definitely. Yeah, make use of that thing. Don't blame you there one bit, dude. Yeah, sometimes my brain just doesn't, you know, make words the way my mouth wants it to. <laughs> or maybe my mouth makes words that the brain doesn't want. But anyway, um, definitely... I hope you have an excellent time, dude. Sounds like a lot of fun. I have, uh... I think I've been to Disneyland once, and I was like, oh boy, get out of there. Yeah. Was not expecting that. Was not expecting that. I've been there once, and I was so young that I don't remember. So that's kind of my experience with Disneyland. <laughs> Our last big boss was Renala, the Moon Queen. And then we also uh, got revenge on the Abductor Virgins that uh, whisked me away to the uh, Volcano or Volcanic Manor. And I was trapped there, and it was not fun. Oh. Pocket sand. All right. That shouldn't be allowed in this game. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's very OP, and that is not fair at all. How dare they? How dare you, Miyazaki? Hitting me with the pocket sand. Unforgivable. Oh. I think I fought this guy before. He was a boss in the one village, I think. Oh, nope. Don't fall off the ledge, Wooly. Okay. That's all right. Yeah, the Omen Killer. That's his name. Sweet. He gave us all the drip, too. Excellent. Oh, it's been amazing. And that I was really struggling with Renala as well until I got that weapon uh, leveled up. 
and then that I just melted through her second phase. It was insane. It was absolutely insane. I think I even stunned her with it too. Very well worth. And if Jared's still hanging about, Jared kind of helped me find the um, blacksmith because I had all the means of upgrading it like from two to three and to three to four, but I didn't have the initial uh, slumbering smithing stones to get it up to uh, level two. <laughs> so it's like I had all the other prerequisite uh, smithing materials except for, you know, the one to actually get it up the initial level. Yeah, because I think we're plus four on this bad boy right now. Yeah, plus four. Bloodhound's Fang plus four. Yeah, this game is so large that, you know, I'm probably going to reach a point where I'm going to have to start consulting a guide. But if you're ever curious on what bosses I have taken down, I think I have a command that's ER... Like Elden Ring bosses. Maybe that's right. Yeah. And then that link um, shows which bosses I've done and what date uh, I defeated them. And it is up to date. And it looks like I need to uh, update that command because it's using an old emote. Which reminds me that I didn't set a new raid message for this month, so we're going to have to go custom raid message tonight. And that's okay. It is A-OK. -okay. Oh boy. Big boy. Oh no. I mean, that's alright, I guess. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm, I used a note-taking app that I use called, uh, Evernote, and when you share it out, it, I looked and I couldn't find any doxing information, and so I just, uh, made a link to that note and put it in a command. Uh, big fan of Evernote. Uh, you need a good note-taking app, that thing is amazing. Part of why I like it so much is the tagging features that help uh, help me out. But sometimes I don't use it near as much as I should. And so that's where I get into trouble sometimes too. Well, I'm already poisoned, so let's just... Uh... Let's just wreck him, right? poisoned, you know, you can't get poisoned any further. Uh, nascent butterfly, what is that? Uh -huh. Oh, I went to crafting. I just meant to go to inventory. Exceedingly rare to find a material used for crafting items. An arcane butterfly with translucent wings. Material used for crafting items. Exceedingly rare to find. This butterfly appears as if it's just emerged from its cocoon for its entire life. Ah, cool. Oh boy. Uh, I was running low on <laughs> health just reading item descriptions. That's not good. I feel like this may... This seems so much easier. Oh, it made this seem like it's easier? I don't know. 
you know, for me, I'm really struggling with the big delays uh, on attacks. It's one thing this game does, like, I feel like it does a really good job at input reading from the character. And so it just feels super tough. And I'm very, very uh, antsy player, very anticipatory in my play style. So while that might work well on Dark Souls, it does not work well here. <laughs> it definitely does not work well in Elden Ring. Uh, all right. Let's go down there. Keep forgetting that I have a, a steed as well. Just want to make sure I didn't forget anything up here. It was worthwhile. No, oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot I had that on there, hobo. <laughs> Welcome in, dude. Well, come on in. How was the rest of your stream, man? How are you doing? Ooh, okay. There's one of those things we can do. Yeah, I need to watch the VOD because uh, I missed out on the duck, the haunted duck hunting game. And uh, it just seems like such a fun uh, bit of nostalgia mixed with some new horror. Um, you know what? I'm going to use the key. We just found it here. Let's use it. Let's use it. And the other one you played was from the, from the darkness. Okay. Unsightly catacombs. Let us explore. Uh, let me change something real quick here. I realized I've been streaming over Wi-Fi this entire time, so uh, I'm just going to take care of that. <laughs> I did some cable management here at the desk, and I realized I didn't reconnect uh, uh, all the cabling correctly. So uh, bear with me one second. Make sure you watch all the VHS tapes. That is good to know. I want to play just the Duck Hunt parts again. <laughs> We'll give you some puppy cam while I get that uh, that stuff worked out. My apologies. Right? Uh, I guess it was working well enough that I just didn't even notice, but I looked at, down on my taskbar and saw, oh yeah, we're on Wi-Fi. <laughs> That's uh, probably not the best for the old bandwidth. But uh, we are switched over now, so hopefully it stays well for us. Uh, Charlie's going to be back next week. So uh, him and DJ Wife are going to be back on Sunday. So we're going to have Charlie Boy back with us next week. And... Uh, yeah, Lucy and Roxy went to the groomer last Wednesday. So the puppies are all doing pretty well. Aren't you, Lucy? Yeah. It's so funny when she gets shaven down like that because she's very, very much a loaf <laughs> when she doesn't have her long hair. She's definitely a loaf. Puppy potato. the puppy potato we do we do call her sausage as well um she does have a vague resemblance to uh just a large sausage link of a dog puppies are the best uh, just whatever animals people have right animals are just the coolest i mean all of you dudes and 
gals and pals and anybody hanging in chat. Uh, you're all pretty, uh, pretty awesome as humans. Um, amongst the best, in my opinion. But um, something about animals, man. They're they're just so so cool. Um, it's a little dark in here. It's a little bit dark in here. I think I have something for that. There we are. Here's something lurking. Oh, right there. Nice try. Nice try. That's, uh, didn't realize I was playing a horror game. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Oh, no. <laughs> Bit off more than I can chew. I got too used to uh, staggering everybody on each hit. Oh, wow. That big axe is powerful. Sure, it procs the bleed right at the end when I didn't need it. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh boy. <laughs> hey! That is my beer, but you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Hello, Raiders. My name is Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Elden Ring, and uh, I will be with you in one second. I can't pause. <laughs> oh, boy. There we go. Oh, Bilbo. Welcome on in. Bilbo brought all the wonderful hobbits on over to see me. Cheers, everybody. How are you all doing? How are you all doing? Let's see who we got here. Let's welcome in everybody. The Real May Waifu, uh, welcome in. Katana Kitty, uh, Stony Fox, uh, who else? Of course, Bilbo. Uh, thank you for the shout out for Bilbo there. And if anybody, ooh, Elden Ring. <laughs> welcome in. Uh, if I mispronounce your names, feel free to correct me. If you have preferred nicknames or preferred pronouns, feel free to throw those in chat. I do want to make sure you feel welcome here. Uh, Nuka Lurks, welcome in, welcome in, and uh, thanks for that new follow there. Uh, and Raiders, if you haven't met my puppy dogs, uh, the one on the left is Roxy, she's 14, the one on the right is Lucy, she's 5, and then our little boy Charlie is on vacation, he's going to be back uh, with us next week. Both him and my partner are on vacation, so uh, they'll be back next week. Uh, so there he is in the emotes there. All of them infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be, so people hang out for them. <laughs> truly and uh my mediocre gameplay and terrible puns are honestly just a little bit of just side content compared to them <laughs> so welcome on in everybody welcome on in hopefully you're doing well bilbo you just got done streaming so uh if you need a raid and run to take care of hydration food you name it uh, please take care of your post-stream self-care needs. I'm not kicking you out. You can stay as long as you wish, and that goes for all of your raiders too. I understand you just got done supporting one of your favorite people, so if you need a raid and run, totally, totally understand. Um, looks like how I feel. Yeah, Roxy uh, definitely embodies uh, that a lot. She's a very sleepy girl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm still loving it. I took a break for Scary Month. We got through Resident Evil 4 Remake and the DLC. We got through Tormented Souls, and we got through uh, Silent Hill 3 uh, during Scary Season. So we got got some good horror games in uh, this year, which I was really, really happy about. So this is my first stream back to Elden Ring. So we're about nine streams in now. 
Uh, last main boss we got was Renala, the Moon Queen, and also uh, got payback on the Abductor Virgins on, on the last time we played this game. Some food and stretch, but thank you for the warm welcome. Oh, yes. Excellent. <laughs> of course, dude. Thank you for bringing your raiders on over. Can we get some hearts in chat for Bilbo and all of the raiders here? Um, Resi 4 was amazing. Uh, the DLC, even more amazing, in my opinion. Uh, playing as Ada is just more fun than Leon. I'm sorry to our, our best boy, Leon, uh, but Ada is just more fun to play as. It, it might be a hot take. I don't know. But yeah, Ada, um, you just feel so much more powerful. You got to chapter six. Is that on the DLC, Romo, or in, in the main game? Easy. They're both easy on the eyes, though, Bilbo. I mean, <laughs> thank you for the new follow. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. So we're going to hop back into the game here. And we just got to the unsightly catacombs here. Yeah, separate ways was really well done. Uh, honestly, for $10, it's it's a steal. For a DLC of that magnitude that only costs 10 bucks, yeah, very much a steal. And Bilbo, what were you streaming? I didn't, uh, didn't see there. I got lost in the in the chat. Oh, I should probably pay attention to the battle. <laughs> <laughs> there we go there we go you were streaming oh some lies of P that's right that's right the Pinocchio game I uh, got remake and the DLC and the deluxe edition on sale for like 45 bucks dude that is a steal both are very very excellent main game excellent DLC excellent highly highly recommend even if you haven't played the original and i would say it probably gives uh you know a good reason to go back and and play the original uh re4 too because i want to play it again and we are going to do that sometime early in 2024 oh boy Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, the dog's a little bit faster than that guy. So let's uh, get some separation here. Okay. 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 You know what I also forgot to do? I forgot to put on my heart rate monitor before stream. So we can see how freaked out I get by the Elden Ring playthroughs. So uh, when we take a little bit of a break here soon, I definitely need to throw that thing on. <laughs> hey, balls. Welcome in, dude. Pet the dogs or, or these beasts? Uh, I don't think petting the beast is going to help out. <laughs> both <laughs> uh, you know it could be worth the risk right could be worth the risk could be worth it and is it may am i pronouncing your name correctly um do you mind may for a uh, nickname or if you have a preferred uh, nickname definitely let me know my okay like okay like waifu my okay real my wife okay see that makes sense that makes sense my brain just doesn't string things together sometimes so thank you for correcting me would be may oh yeah that's true you are correct no now's not the place to sit down thanks for that new follow by the way if you're enjoying the lurk, feel free to continue. Uh, but if you want to hop in chat and say hello, you're always more than welcome. 
I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. If I did, uh, definitely let me know. Because I get behind on chat all the time. So if I missed you, definitely feel free to let me know. And I did go to a concert last night and stayed up a little bit past my normal bedtime. So my brain's just a little bit foggy today. A little bit foggy today. Tony Bomb, welcome in. Uh, I saw Puddle's Pity Party, if you're familiar. Uh, singing clown and uh, very, very entertaining. Very entertaining. Highly, highly recommend. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I missed the uh, unmissed. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I could definitely do a puppy treat as soon as it's safe. It was a wonderful show, Hobo. Uh, definitely recommend. Definitely recommend. For those uh, that might be familiar, you might be familiar with Postmodern Jukebox. He's done some stuff with them, too. He was also on America's Got Talent. Oh! We got Big Boy to fall down. Excellent. Let's run to some safety. Uh, so the Jack Russell on the left, um, my uh, is 14. And the Shih Tzu is uh, 5. So Roxy's the Jack Russell, Lucy's the uh, Shih Tzu, and our little boy Charlie that we got uh, a little over a month ago. Uh, Charlie is a 7-year-old Pomeranian mix. Yeah, so it says Puppy Cam, but I mean they're... They're not really puppies. But just like, you know, all puppies are dogs, but not all dogs are puppies. Uh, it's not mutually exclusive. <laughs> but we can do we can do a puppy treat. Yep. Exactly. So I'm going to wait for that to pull off the screen. But uh, if Bilbo is still hanging about, Bilbo can pick the treat. Otherwise, um, oh, they're excited about it. Or otherwise, you could my. Um, yep, they heard me say treat, and then it was just. Uh, <laughs> yep. So we have uh, pumpkin spice, or we have uh, some Halloween themed ones of uh, zombie bites. So uh, take your pick pumpkin spice or zombie bites. Zombie bites it is. Oh. Have you been waiting forward? Yeah, you've been looking forward to this all day. Have you been waiting forward? Have you been looking forward and waiting for it all day? Sometimes my brain just strings phrases together. Anybody else have that happen in their brain? Or just takes like three things and combines at once? And it just doesn't go through the buffer properly. <laughs> it does feel that way. At least for me. All right, puppies. All right, puppies. The time for the treats. Yo, Quantum Flounder, thank you for the gifted sub. And that went to Dylan Johnson. Thank you very, very much for that generosity. <laughs> All day talking to your kiddos is that way? Yeah. I don't know what happens with my brain sometimes, but it's just like four words combined into one. <laughs> or like two different phrases. But thank you very, very much, Quantum. Uh, how have you been doing? How has Dark Souls 3 been treating you? And give you uh, one of those Twitch official shout outs. Thank you for that uh, gifted sub. Can we get some hearts for uh, 
some hearts for quantum, please. Uh, looks like we got an ad here, too. Hopefully people didn't miss the treat due to the ad. <laughs> Lucy? <laughs> what are you doing, puppy? Hey. Stop pushing stuff. She's pushing her head on the furniture here, and I just want to make sure that my PlayStation doesn't go rolling off. <laughs> uh, but she, Lucy, loves to push her face on things and like itch her face when she's like had something to eat. She's a goofy dog. <laughs> oh, Hobo Baggins, yeah, he he's our favorite Shire-based uh, dumpster fire uh, of a human. And I mean that in the kindest ways of, of possible. Uh, he is the type of dumpster fire that warms the hearts and souls of all humankind. It's it's very true. Thank you for the puppy treat. Or at least coaxing me into giving them a puppy treat. <laughs> there are only two of those per stream, so the next one uh, is a couple hours delayed just so their uh, little sensitive puppy bellies don't get too uh, upset. So they don't have any big accidents on stream. All right, I think big boy's down here. I think big boy fell back down. I just don't know where he's at. It's kind of freaking me out. Oh boy. <laughs> Hobo Baggins. Thank you for the gifted sub. <laughs> Thank you for the gifted sub to me. <laughs> Thank you for kicking off a hype train, my lord. What are you all doing? Okay, that's locked, so we can't get in there yet. <laughs> Do you like the doggo train, uh, Romo? Is that your first time seeing that? <laughs> oh, you just always get a smile. That's fair. I don't even know how... Did somebody redeem something that I wasn't aware of? Or like biddies or something? Raspy do. What in the world is going on here? Thank you for the gifted subs. Those went to uh, Lids, Savory Frank, Danson, uh, Master Dean, and Brain Candy. Uh, Brain Candy, uh, Lids, Master Dean, Danson, or uh, Savory Frank. If any of you are hanging in chat, make sure you uh, kindly thank Raspy Doo for the gifted subs. Also, make sure you thank uh, Hobo Baggins and Quantum Flounder uh, if you received gifted subs from them. Enjoy the emotes and the ad free for an entire duration of 30 days. Hobo Baggins, thank you for the biddies. What are you all doing? This is just a Tuesday. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> You're hype training my my Wendy's. I don't even know what to do with my hands. <laughs> um, I guess the only way to describe that Tawny Bomb is uh, if I just throw this in chat, the Elden Ring bosses. And that is a link uh, that shows all the bosses that I've uh, beat so far. Uh, last time we streamed this game, we took down uh, Renala and uh, the Abductor Virgins. That's kind of roughly where we're at with Elden Ring. Again, thank you all so heckin' much for the uh, hype train. 
I don't even know where... Because usually it takes three events to kick it off. Um, so somebody must have, like, silently resubbed or, or something. <laughs> uh, seriously, thank you. I just want to make sure I thank everybody properly. We're hyping. Puppies, did you know that we're hyping? <laughs> you put your biddies away, hobo. You gifted a sub, and now that's like what? 300 biddies? You you can you can put away your wallet. Because I'm calling your bank tomorrow regardless, okay? <laughs> Your bank is getting notified, all of you. I'm calling your financial uh, institutions of preference. You're getting an earful. <laughs> uh, that is true, Falls. I did not call your bank. That is true. Okay, so there's an outcropping there that I think I can roll off onto. Or maybe just walk off onto. I'm very nervous about this. There we go. Okay. So I need to get to that over there. How in the world do I do that? I'm probably going to die from that. No. Wow. Okay. Oh, big boy. He's still here. Big boy is still here. Let's, uh, let's take care of big boy. Daggers. Yeah, there we go. Get that bleed damage. Yes. <laughs> it is Bloodhound Fang Sword. Yep. It has been my preference of weapon ever since I picked it up. <laughs> hey, thanks for the new follow, too. Much appreciated. All right. So maybe we can explore down here without being murdered. Uh, thank you for that uh, level 2 hype train. 24% of the way through level 3. Much, much appreciated. Hobo Baggins, thanks for the biddies and the gifted sub. Raspy Doo, thanks for the 5 gifted. And of course, Quantum Flounder, thank you for the gifted sub. My goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> weird. That is weird. Thank you for the choo-choo. Thank you for the choo-choo. One of these days, we will get one of the uh, golden kappas, and it will be amazing. <laughs> uh, but I have uh, been in somebody's chat who did get the golden kappa, and it is awesome. Okay, so this is another area. So can we drop down here then? Oh boy. Oh, they're dead. Okay. But I don't think all of them are dead. Okay, which one of you is sleeping? Okay, not that one. Oh, that one. That one too. And that one. <laughs> yeah, that's scary. Those things are scary. And I'm not a fan. 
I am not a fan at all. Jeez. Yeah, seriously, thank you all very, very much. Thank you very, very much for the hype train. Okay, so there's our way in that door, right? But I tell you what, let's uh, pick up this item. Ooh, another rune arc. Very cool. Uh, let's go back to the side of grace, or can we? We can't fast travel, but we can walk there. the noises, but there doesn't seem to be one of these that's alive. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. There was one. There was one. Okay. So this gets us here. Now we can walk back. Does this... I'm assuming this goes right to the boss. Yeah, it does. Okay. Because I think what I want to do is get my heart rate, heart rate monitor on for bosses. Uh, so we'll get that and we'll rest the side of grace. That's a, that's a quick and easy setup, so... Just something I'm not used to having as part of my stream um, prep thing quite yet. So I'm sure as I get used to that. And I was using it towards the end of Scary Month. I did win it in part of a giveaway. And so I think what I'll do is uh, use it for like games like this that are super stressful. And then also scary games. But I won't be doing it for every game. Because I, I don't think it's probably worth doing for every game. So we'll do a quick be right back uh, while I take care of that. Do you guys uh, want the BRB screen or do you want uh, some words on stream? Because I figure I'll take this opportunity to let the uh, puppies do their, uh, their bio break as well. Because I can, I can do either one. You guys want some words? We can do some words. Hegel? Welcome in, dude. Thanks for checking in on our beer tonight. We're doing the drive through red from uh, Trader Joe's. Cheers, cheers. How are you doing? How are you feeling, man? Hagel did a 24-hour charity stream benefiting Extra Life and Children's Miracle Network uh, hospitals and raised, was it over $3,000? And that was with a $1,000... Uh, head start uh, from Mattis Dog during a previous charity stream of his. So it was over 4,000 total between the two. Um, so definitely go say hello to Hegel uh, next time he's live. That would be much, much, much appreciated. And definitely give all the hearts and GGs uh, for Hegel for, uh, for doing that because that's a uh, pretty dang cool dude. A little bit tired yet? I bet, man. 24 hours awake is rough anyway, and then when you're streaming on top of that? Ah. Insane. Yeah, so what was it? Um, like 4,162, I think was the total, right? Uh, let me just make sure my words on stream is set up properly. Yeah, uh, very awesome work. Very, very awesome work. Very, very proud to be just even like <laughs> tangentially uh, associated uh, with cool people uh, that do that type of awesomeness for uh, other humans. Um, let's see here. Words on stream. Let's see if I can get you guys some words on stream. Uh, capture scenes. 
words. Oh, I suppose I uh, need to take the puppy cam away. There's words. There's words. <laughs> oh, I'm 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 an idiot in a chair myself. <laughs> uh, but you're much more than that, dude. I'll throw a little bit of background music in and feel free to do some words. Uh, we'll take a quick little break and we'll be back here uh, real soon. sinking correctly before I just take off. Okay. Okay. We're good to go. Hey, Jack. Welcome in. Good to see you. And I think we have our heart rate. There we are. Good to see you. Good to see you. Cheers, cheers. And uh, we'll keep doing words until this round kind of plays out here, too. Can we get to the next level? Ah, oh, that's all right. Good work, everybody. 
Thanks for getting up to level two. Good, good work. And if we do another uh, VRB, we can always we can always get some more words going. All right, I suppose I better throw up a prediction for this boss. We're going to do a multiple prediction here because it's uh, very rare that Wooly gets an Elden Ring boss on the first try. Um, so channel point prediction is open for those that want to get rid of some channel points. There is a first try. There is a 2 through 5, 6 through 10, or 11 plus. So feel free to get in on that uh, channel point prediction. Um, yeah, I talked a bit about it. I didn't talk like really in depth other than just go see Puddle's Pity Party if it's anywhere near you. Um, amazing, amazing show, honestly. Um, probably one of the standouts in recent memory. He also went around and like basically shook almost everybody's hand before he started the performance. Then he stayed out in the uh, main entrance and took photos with everybody. Um, for a long time so it was it was really cool um and i also did get a get a picture with him of course um i'm not a fan of clowns but uh this was uh he won me over just a bit so yeah there we go <laughs> yeah it was a lot of fun it was a really really good show it was a really good show so thank you all for understanding uh, that I changed my uh, stream night. Uh, and uh, part partook in that uh, yesterday evening. Because uh, live music is a wonderful treat. And if you get the opportunity, go see some live music, honestly. Uh, one of the best things uh, that there is. Just in general. Love live music. All that prediction is rounding out here. We'll give you some puppy cam. Very rare that they uh, inhabit the same space of one puppy bed. And it's always super adorable when they do. So, hunger lace. We tolerate each other sometimes. You. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what good girls. All right. What do we got for this prediction here? We have a couple that have some faith and then a couple people that want to rob those points from them. Uh, excellent. Excellent, excellent. I have no idea who this boss is, so uh, we'll find out. I'm going to pick up Green Day Smashing Pumpkin tickets. Oh, aren't they playing with uh, aren't they playing with Rancid as well? Uh, Cause dude, I, I would love to see Rancid live. That combo is amazing. I think, you know, out of all of them, I am probably like least uh, inclined. Oh boy, I messed that up big time. I would say out of the three, I'd probably be least uh, excited for Green Day. And even at that, I'm still, I would still be pretty excited about Green Day. Yeah, that's true, Hegel. Because I I thought about uh, Green Day, um, and I looked at those ticket prices, or not Green Day, but uh, Blink-182, and those ticket prices were atrocious. Come on, just proc the bleed. Thank you. When is that thing gonna proc? It's ridiculous. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah, maybe we just run. Maybe we just run this one.
Yeah, I just think the ticket prices are insane. I would love to see them just because, you know, I never got a chance to see them back when, but my lord. Uh, like a hundred some dollars to sit up in the nosebleeds and basically watch them on a TV. I mean, that's not a punk show to me, <laughs> you know? All right, let's see what we can do here. What kind of boss do we have? A perfumer Trisha and Misbegotten Warrior. Oh, we fought Leonine the Misbegotten, so this must be similar. Bad time to heal. Very bad time to heal. Nope. Nope, I got dodge happy. <laughs> wow. Uh, the heart rate definitely goes up with this game. That's for certain. So that's Misbegotten Warrior and uh, Perfumer. Yeah, panic rolls were awful there. Um, even when they were here a year ago, lower level tickets were, yeah, like the lowest you can get, I think, for that show is like 125. So let's add our boss. Our boss is the Trisha and Misbegotten warrior there we are let's go again it is a bummer because it was weird like before the pandemic right like there were a lot of bands that were touring places where they wouldn't normally and they like it wasn't like an arm and a leg either to see them and so they were playing these small venues. You could see them for reasonable prices. And then the pandemic hit. And then in the response to the pandemic of people wanting to get out and go to shows again is now all these, the demand is there. So they're playing all these big stadium shows and all the ticket prices just through the roof. Yeah. Because all that demand is back. <laughs> Uh, that's true, Hegel. That is true. Oh, you know what? I kind of want my runes. Nope. No, panic rolling again. You gotta stop that. Gotta stop that. All right. I've only been a month removed from the game, so I've had plenty of plenty of time to forget to stop panic rolling. <laughs> so we're in attempt number three. Yep, just got to find the Zen. Oh, no, stop it. Please stop that. Very rude, my dude. Oh boy, he's after me. He's after me. You're not supposed to emote. Yeah, that was on me because I was hungry for my runes. I had a boss in Pinocchio Souls that took me nearly two hours of attempts. That is rough. That is rough. But I, I know what that's like. Um, so level one, Dark Souls one uh, taught me a lot of patience. <laughs> Taught me a lot of patience. 
uh, especially like um, Calamite and Manus fights were just brutal. I think I, the one that sticks out in my brain big time is the Manus fight because Manus, the winning uh, attempt took me nearly 25 minutes on soul level one. It's just insane. So each attempt was nearly 20 minutes if you got like a good portion of the way into his health bar. You know what? go. Oh, yeah. That's it. Get our runes back here. Just gotta calm down. <laughs> just gotta learn how to calm down and then we're A-OK. -okay. Hey, thank you. Yeah, that is true. Uh, you did win the prediction, didn't you? Oh man. Our Faithers, Hegel, Romo dude, I'm sorry. But uh Delilah wins it. Four attempts. So let me go ahead and log these bosses before I forget here. Because that's the problem. If I don't log it right away, I'm just going to, you know. So if you bear with me here while I log those bosses into our uh, note here. And that was the per humor Trisha. And misbegotten warrior uh, at unsightly catacombs, right? And today is the seventh day in November. Perfect. Cool. Now let me round out that prediction uh, here too. Make sure you get your points. Four attempts, so that goes uh, all 12,110 points. <laughs> Big payday uh, for Delilah tonight. Good work. GG's. Big payoff. I would say don't spend them all in one place, but unfortunately, uh, that's not how channel points work. Um, so you, you have to spend them here. But uh, maybe spend them wisely. Big, big payout there. Okay. So now that we've kind of explored this area, let's kind of go back towards our main plateau here. Oh, hey. Come on. There we go. Some more Ashes of War. Sweet. Uh, more rested, less tormented state of mind. Um, so I would say yes. Um, because I don't think there's anything specific from Crisis Core that's going to give you any different uh, framing. Is I would maybe watch the... I think it's the first trailer. And I what was the other one? Uh, the Tokyo Game Show one, I think. Yeah. I would say those would uh those two would be safe. I don't know if they've had any other trailers besides that. 
I'd say those ones are those ones are safe. And honestly, I'm at a point where I don't know if I'm going to. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's frightening. I'm at a point where I don't know if I'm going to watch any further trailers. Yeah, these, it said coffin, but I mean, these look more like train boxcars to me. He's got combos. Big boy's got combos. <laughs> hey, Mars, welcome in. How are you doing? How is your, what is it, Wednesday for you already? Welcome in. It is good to see you. How was your Halloween? How was your uh, scary season? I love seeing all of your cosplays, by the way. Uh, tons of cosplays from Mars uh, over this last month. Yeah, I'm excited to see where Rebirth goes to, um, Tani. And I'm kind of scared of watching any more trailers. <laughs> because I just... Uh, I want to be just... You know, not have a lot of because a lot of games recently seem to have a lot of like launch trailer stuff that really spoils stuff. So, yeah, how are you doing? I'm doing quite well. I got through uh, quite a few scary games this scary season, so I was very happy about that. I finally got through a first play of uh, Silent Hill 3, which I will say. Story-wise is one of my favorites. Gameplay-wise, maybe not. <laughs> uh, it was really, really difficult game, and the uh, enemies were very rough. Oh, no. Oh, got a midair, sweet. Uh, gameplay can be all over the place. Oh yeah, but wait till I play Silent Hill 4. Yeah. So I'm kind of waiting on that one. You know, I, I did Silent Hill 1 like a revisit um, last year Halloween. And I played Silent Hill 2 this last spring. So I, um, you know, I'm trying to decide if I want to do that in the spring, do Silent Hill 4, or if I want to wait until Halloween uh, next year. And Misty, good to see you. I know it's super late, but welcome in. Welcome in. If you're needing to get the sleep, uh, don't feel afraid to do the, uh, the you know, sleepy, lurky kind of thing. <laughs> um, also got through the Resident Evil 4 remake uh, and the DLC, which both were amazing, amazing pieces of art. And also did Tormented Souls. Oh boy, we have a dragon. Ancient Dragon Lanciax. Well, I was not ready for that. Who had uh, just a random dragon on their bingo card here? Because I did not. I did see that too, uh, that it's getting a sequel. Uh, I'm excited. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking this is maybe not the best arena to fight this uh, this here boss. I'm just starting to think that the 
And what was it called? Let me see if I can pull up the name of this thing. Elden Ring, Ancient Dragon Land CX. Okay. We'll give this thing a few tries, maybe. Lance Axe? Okay. I appreciate that, GG. Uh, do you see there are going to be a Zelda live action? I heard about that today, and I'm just... Uh, I, I'm i torn, because I feel like a Zelda movie should be animated. I I don't know what it is. Uh, maybe it's just from playing the games as a, as a kid and everything. Everything was just so vibrant and colorful, and I just feel like that that being brought to a live action space is kind of strange. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else feels that way. You wanted, I think everybody could, right? With all the, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hope Vin Diesel. Oh, Misty. Are you trolling us? <laughs> Are you trolling us? Um, I suppose I could throw up a prediction. Um, we'll do just a prediction for this. Uh, feel free to hop in on it. Um, so because we didn't have a chance to do the prediction before, so the next attempt is the uh, first attempt, and we'll kind of even it out from there. Um, let's just start at the uh, side of grace, I think. I hope that they don't have Chris Pratt as Link. Um... <laughs> Zelda, let's do this for the Hyrule family. <laughs> oh my lord. That is amazing. F is for family. Oh boy. That was a very athletic move from Big Boy there. Oh, we walked right into that one. right into that one. Come on now. Um, before the dragon got me, I was uh, going to talk about the... Uh, we lost a lot of runes, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, get your sleep. Get your sleep, Misty. Please take care of yourself. Please take care of yourself. Um... The developer or the um, publisher for um, Tormented Souls, uh, P Cube, was very responsive on uh, on Twitter. Uh, so they must have been looking out for people posting about Tormented Souls. But it was pretty cool to see that a company was so uh, just out there on the social media space and interacting with people that were uh, enjoying their games. So that was pretty cool to see. Um, you know what? I would almost prefer them doing something original or something from like an older game that, uh, you know, isn't going to make fans angry. <laughs> but like the Super Mario's, uh, that new movie was actually pretty good. Um, I was very not on board with the uh, casting of Chris Pratt initially. But I think in the end, he did a pretty good job. I think they just had a really bad set of trailers that... Uh... Oh, man. He just uh, keeps stunlocking me there. I need to create just a secondary uh, a death thing for when I have my uh, boss attempt up. Because <laughs> I kind of have an auto increment, and that's... Uh... I have to keep subtracting from it. Oh, you watched the uh, Five Nights at uh, Freddy's uh, movie. What did you think about that? 
I've heard good things from uh, those that have watched it. And there was also the uh, series finale of Attack on Titan, which I finally, between all the recommendations I kept getting and uh, everybody tweeting about it on Sunday, I, I actually started it on Sunday night. And I'm about roughly nine episodes in to Attack on Titan. Uh, I'm hooked. It's amazing so far. There we go. I'm really, really digging it. There's some cool character growth, and if you can stick with it, honestly, if there's people that haven't watched it that are looking to get into it, um, watch at least through the end of episode six. Uh, because the backstory uh, that they dive into with uh, Mikasa in that one is just honestly amazing. And that's what really hooked me. So if you're uh, kind of on the fence, give it give it six episodes. It's uh, they're short. They're like 20, 25 minutes long. So read the manga uh, and they definitely improved on the ending. That is cool. Uh, that is cool. Yeah, I'm excited to keep watching it because my problem is once I really get into a show, I tend to uh, binge like crazy. And so I'm happy that it's one that the series has wrapped. So as I kind of get into it, I can just uh, really dive deep. All right, that's a bad AOE. That's good to know. Oh, boy. All right, I don't think I'm going to be able to fight this thing mounted. That was uh, that was uh, interesting. <laughs> Think I stopped somewhere around season two. Okay, Attack on Titan was my first anime. First watched it back in 2016 and stuck with it. Excellent. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, I was a big DBZ fan growing up. Um, other ones that we watched. I'm trying to think. Um, we got. I think we're on season four currently of uh, My Hero Academia. And we also watched through uh, Seven Deadly Sins on Netflix, which was also pretty interesting. There's a lot of fan service in that one, though, that can be a little cringy in the uh, beginning moments. So just a fair warning for people <laughs> watching that one. Nope. Heal, heal. Nope. Okay, this might be a little outside of my pay grade at the moment. Yeah, I didn't I did enjoy it though. And I don't know if they have some new stuff. It looked like there might be some new stuff out, but maybe I didn't look closely enough when I was looking it up the other day. But we definitely enjoyed it, but early like especially early first season is uh, pretty cringy. Um, so just so you're aware. Yep, I'm thinking this is, uh, we might have to abandon uh, the ancient dragon here. So it doesn't stop me from watching the entire thing because I, nothing better to do, that's fair. 
I don't know if I watched Midnight, but Meliodas is is a tough hang uh, for sure. He's he's tough character to care for. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can just run past him. We're just gonna give that a try. Oh, Midnight from... Oh, okay. I know what you're saying now. Yep. It's been a little bit. It's been a little bit. But yeah, they are very much in the in the fan service realm there. <laughs> yep. I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, that dragon is a huge... Uh... I agree, Hegel. Isn't Midnight one of the uh, instructors? Um, I guess I don't know how to describe them without... Uh... <laughs> without it sounding cringy as well. Yeah, she seems very much into torture of her students and people around her. <laughs> if that's the the one I'm thinking is is Midnight. It's been a little while. I need to hop back in because uh, what a great show. I tried to get into JoJo, um, but I just couldn't and maybe I need to give it a, another try but Dragon is rough, man. Yeah, that was just a bad, bad attempt there. Yeah, I think I didn't give it a fair shake, uh, to, to be fair, uh, the first time I tried watching JoJo. Um, so I'll give it another go. But I'm, I'm fully into Attack on Titan at this point, so. It is definitely not going to happen anytime soon. Yeah, you know what? I think that's where we're gonna we're gonna say no on this boss for now. So as long as we remember seven attempts, and then uh, what I need to do is just refund our uh, prediction. So I'm just gonna cancel that, and that should give you all of your points back. Just gonna pull that off the screen here. There we are. We'll we'll uh, we'll come back later. Want a recommendation though? I highly recommend watching Vinland Saga. Truly one of the best shows I've seen in a while. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to write that down. Okay, these guys seem more my pay grade. 
<laughs> See, this is fine. The Lance Axe Dragon. Nah. <laughs> not, not my speed at the moment. And also those that were uh, getting in with the scary movies and everything uh, this scary season. Uh, what did you end up watching? Did you get any uh, cool new scary movie recommendations in? Uh, feel free to give me some recommendations there too. Because I'm still kind of having the Halloween hangover, if you will, where I just still want some scary stuff. So definitely open to recommendations. Oh boy. Yep, I heard him. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. That guard counter is uh, brutal. The, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what were your thoughts? I haven't seen it yet. Um, but I could see where people might be a little meh about it. It seems like it kind of came out of nowhere, uh, too. Like, I didn't really hear much about development or anything, and then all of a sudden it's here. Wow. This dude is... Uh, Giving me the trouble here. There we go. Just got to dance properly. Um, uh, wasn't good, but it wasn't offensively bad either, so it was okay. I never played the game, so if, if that uh, <laughs> serves as any point of reference. Um, For me, I struggle with games that are like that, with the, uh, you know, the kind of chase mechanic where that's kind of the, basically the whole game is you have to kind of stealth your way through. And so I really struggle with uh, games like that. Where you can't really fight back too much. That's why I like... Uh, like, I like the Pursuer enemies in Resident Evil games. They also can be just as annoying, though. <laughs> uh, when you just kind of feel like there's nothing you can do about it. But, I mean, those characters are iconic. Like, Mr. X, Nemesis, Lady D, um, Papa Jack in RE7. Ouch. Nice. Got lucky there. Got lucky there. <laughs> Actual animatronics for the movie and some of the cameos made me giggle, but overall... Didn't really care for the characters. Story was pretty predictable. Okay. That makes sense. Knowing nothing about those games, it was definitely all right. And you know, sometimes uh, I'm a fan of like movies too, where you know I can acknowledge maybe it wasn't a great movie, but it was just fun. Was it you know one of those? I'm fine with movies like that, too. Like, yeah, it wasn't what I expected, but, you know, I had fun watching it. Five out of ten. Oh, dudes. Uh, big gang fight here. Good thing I got a big sword. Boy. 
This is rough. This is real rough. He's got the perfume too. Oh, he's got like a bit of a pick, pickaxe, war axe kind of thing. Like a war hammer. That's pretty cool. Nope. That's not how I win things. Oh, man. That guy hadn't have uh, intruded there. I don't want to turn my back to him. got dicey. Come on now. Yeah, get him out of the equation. I keep forgetting about my weapon arts, too. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that opened up some room. Yeah, that breaks his poise, and then I can, uh, yeah, okay. Well, that's a good way to handle those guys. All right, map. Where's, uh, oh, let's get this, uh, the grand lift, uh, of Dectus going. So this is at the top part of that. Oh, yeah, that looks not so good. This is uh, not a good spot to be in, but maybe we can get one of these big boys through here. <laughs> oh, he's got that reach. Might need just a little bit of strategery here. Okay, well, rude. First of all, my guy, rude. All right, I'm gonna bite your ankles off. That was my moment, too. That was my moment. Okay. Kill him. Heal. All right. We got this now. Maybe we get, maybe we got this. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, he's a little more mobile than his uh 
buddy. Come on. Come on. There we go. Ooh, big damage. Oh boy. There we go. <laughs> oh wait, he's not dead. That was just a stun. There we go. Don't count my victory before it's won. Ah, oh, all right. That was good. Behold, tree. Okay, so this is the upper part of the lift. Maybe something greater than I powers this this lift. Well, I was hungry, okay, Beagle. Got a map marker there. Let's uh, let's go after that thing. Is there a description there? Group ahead. Oh. Oh, interesting. Invisible banners. Fully invisible, but you know. There's enemy on a mount. I would rather avoid that. Oh, sweet. Another golden seed. Okay, we got ourselves a little thing there. Finger reader up there. Is that the herd tree itself? Probably worth a look, right? Just curious if there are any sites of grace around here. This looks pretty sus. Oh, no, no, no. Some areas in this game just feel like you need to just power through. And maybe this isn't it. Some pretty uh, heavy defenses here.
pretty heavy defenses here. Two tree sentinels. That's lovely. Lyndell, Royal Capital. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's the Erd tree for sure. <laughs> I think the same could be said about this entire game. Tony. I, I think it could be said about the entire game. Uh, let's add a charge. So, let's see. We don't have enough to level up. We need to prove our might, right? That we could take down two of those. So, what if we go try to take down the first Tree Sentinel first? Just, you know, to see if we're up to the task. Yeah, let's see if we're up to it. Maybe I'll throw a prediction here, because we know what we're doing. I guess we know what we're going toward. Uh, whether we know what we're doing is a whole other uh, <laughs> whole other statement. But uh, channel point prediction is open. If you want to throw in some channel points, you think we'll get the tree sentinel on the first try? Yes, if you have faith. Uh, no, if you're a realist, you've been here before. You know what to expect. Actually, it's not that. It's uh, first try, 2 through 5, 6 to 10, or 11 plus. I forgot it was a multi uh, attempt uh, prediction here. But the prediction is open for the Tree Sentinel. <laughs> and I can see uh, we got some wise folks here putting in some points on that 11 plus. Uh, we'll give you some little puppy cam while we wait. Oh my lord. My heart just can't even when they uh, <laughs> when they share. It's too much. Much too much too much. Yeah, we got a few people that uh, think two through five, and it looks like maybe one on the six to ten tries. So we'll ride into a uh, glorious battle here and see how we do against the tree sentinel. Oh boy. Yeah, we're still. Uh, Not doing much damage on him. Oh. That side charge is uh, brutal. Yep. 
That was greedy. That was greedy. Oh! I got excited that maybe I had stunned him or something, but nope. Interesting. Real interesting here. Nope, don't sneak. Nope, don't do that either. right into that. That one I know how to dodge. But he's got a few other attacks that kind of mask it, that look like it, but aren't quite the same. Oh boy. Let's go. Whew. Of course, I came back to fight it late game, so. <laughs> Thanks for the GG's. Um, let's see who uh, who won some points on that one. Oh, nobody. <laughs> Finally, a, a first try. That feels good. Thank you for all those channel points. Yeah, nobody thought this would happen. That is correct, Twitch. Nobody did think that would happen. Ooh, the heart rate got up there. I don't know if we hit in the red at all, but I know we we're at the uh, high end of the yellow. That's for sure. That is for sure. All right. How are we doing here? Can we level up? Just shy, really? That's too bad. Uh, let's see here. Some large areas that are uh, not filled in on the old map. I bet there's another, um, what's it's called? Um, uh, Earth tree avatar around this thing. So if we go up this way, and then we can round about here, get there. So let's do that. found a way to get me at like 10% of their health. Dude, that is so rough. I did kind of prove you wrong, Tawny. Uh, <laughs> and that is weird. That's not something you can expect around here. <laughs> we 
it is not something that typically happens. All right, so we need to go this way. But I'm definitely not going to try the two. I think the one was enough for now. I don't need to get overinflated. Uh... Oh, okay. Is that a smaller dragon type thing? Yep. Oh, no. No, no, no. Get out of there. Ooh. That was super close. Okay. That was rude. It was a bit rude of you, my dude. Take down my steed like that. Man, that's cool that there's so many uh, golden seeds here. Oh, man. Are those arrows from some type of ballista up there? Holy cow. This is frightening. That's the way I need to go, too. This feels like the road definitely less traveled these days. What is that? It's like Margit, but... Yeah, I definitely don't want to be wandering around in these holes. So this is basically like fighting Margit. But just as a normal enemy. Okay, that's not what I wanted, but you know what? We could just kind of not do that. That would be cool, too. Because look at this. There's a side of grace right there. All right, now we can try it. greedy there, thinking I could just walk to the side. Oh. Seems cheap. Yeah, slightly different moveset, I think. The, uh, the waiting that kills me. That quick swipe up is what always got me during the first uh, market battle. Wondering if he's going to go full face two on me as well with the big hammer.
maybe I can proc a good bleed on him if I can manage to sink a couple of good attacks here. Oh, not like that. Oh, yep. Yeah, hammer boys out. Big Bonk is here. Oh yeah. You know, you thought the big boss was, uh, you know, a big fight. Now it's just a regular enemy. Yep. Heal there. Come on, let me proc the bleed. Yeah, I got roll happy there. I kind of want to do this. <laughs> you know, I kind of want to give this a fair shot. How close is the stake to this guy? Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to do boss minus and just say, I'm gonna do the win. I need to find a way to cancel out of this. We didn't get the win on the ancient dragon, but I just need to find a way to cancel out of that. So I need to get that command working for, for stuff where I temporarily give up on a boss. But I just don't need it adding uh, each time I death count. So. Oh. That was four. I'd say this one is definitely less aggressive than the uh, main market battle. We go there was a bleed that's what we needed i 
That's what we needed. Good old bleed there. Yeah, this phase, though, a lot more untenable. just has so many combos. greedy <laughs> oh that was close that was close i got really greedy there i just saw the end of the the hp bar and got real excited nope that is not it He hasn't done that one in this battle yet. Hey, <laughs> hey, that is my beer, but you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Melly, it is good to see you. Welcome on in, Raiders. My name is Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Elden Ring. Um, currently on a spot where I can't pause, so unfortunately I can't give you a proper shout out, but welcome in, everybody. Hopefully you're doing well. Happy Tuesday. Melly, how was uh, Overwatch? How was uh, Baldur's Gate 3? Welcome on in, everybody. <laughs> uh, we're trying to fight some type of Margit avatar here, and I'm not really quite sure what to think of it. Other than he stinks pretty much just as much as Margit did. And I just want the bleed to proc. <laughs> rolled right into that one. That's a silly wooly move right there. So I will be with you raiders just shortly here, hopefully after a victory. we go. There's the bleed. There's the bleed that we need. Okay. 
do a thing we can we can do. <laughs> yeah, I did I did say that. I said I already beat you. And they just didn't listen. Hey, come back here. That is rude. That is rude. You're having a confrontation with somebody and they just walk out on you like that. Very rude. Very, very rude. Oh. Oh. And big bonk. Oh no. Not that combo. No. Close. Close, close, close. Let me give you a proper shout out here, Melly. Welcome on in, Raiders. Um, if I remember how to shout out. There we go. <laughs> uh, who did we have with our raid here? Welcome on in, everybody. If uh, I missed anybody's messages, please, uh, please let me know. Feel free to post again. <laughs> it's healthy to take a break. You can approach the problem with a cool head. Yeah, that's fair. That is fair. That is always true, Hegel. I'm going to run and eat. Yes, definitely. Take care of those uh, post-stream self-care needs, Melly. Please take care of yourself and any of your raiders, too. Uh, feel free to raid and run if you need to. Uh, enjoy the lurk, and, and just please take care of yourselves. And uh, raiders that are here, if you haven't met uh, Roxy and Lucy, Roxy's the Jack Russell on the left. She's 14. Lucy's the Shih Tzu on the right. She's 5. And Charlie, our little 7-year-old uh, Pomeranian mix, is going to be here uh, this weekend. So he'll be joining us for our next Elden Ring stream next Monday. So, uh, yeah, all the dogs infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people truly hang out for them and they, uh, tolerate a lot of mediocre gameplay and terrible, terrible puns in between puppy sightings. So <laughs> welcome in Raiders. Good to see you all. Melly, thank you for sharing your community with us. Uh, much, much, much appreciated. Thank you. And uh, let's see here. Who do we uh, who do we all have? It looked like Hegel. You uh, snuck back in with the raid. Yeah, um, they are quite terrible indeed, Jared. What I thought about doing is just have like a, you know, print out, you know, a lot of things that say my puns. And then that way I could, you know, make them terrible on stream but uh it's a waste of a lot of paper so i'm not gonna do that but it's just a fun idea oh yeah and we yeah there's there's gameplay here and hegel i'm gonna beat this one tonight Small. and jump and smack and smack and dodge I hate all these uh, little holes on the battlefield here, though. Nah, my ambitions are still well true alive here. One, two, and jump, and dodge, and smack, and smack. <laughs> Um, no, I have not uh, tried asking, but they also just jumped right to violence, so. They're just as guilty as I am, I think. Okay, phase two. Oh boy, that was uh, a big no-no there. One, two, hammer. Oh, wow. Nice. 
dodge spam got uh, eventually caught up with me, but uh, yeah, that was good for a second. <laughs> it was good for a second there. Yeah, we'll get it. I, I would say in the next two or three attempts. Oh, wow. Just a smack in the face right away. Okay, this one I'm okay with because I think I have the dodge timing down. Get the bleed to proc when you take that long between attacks, uh, Mr. Margaret. Okay, that's good. Very swift and nimble for uh, an old dude that needs a cane. Swift timing of that is so tough. One's just like a a luck a luck draw. I am not good at dodging that. Oh come on, rude, 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 rude. <laughs> oh dude, Eagle, definitely uh, take care of yourself, dude, and have a wonderful stream tomorrow morning because you are working Crisis Core, right? That's what you're starting tomorrow morning? Can we get some hearts in chat for Hegel, please? And also some hearts in chat for Melly with that uh, awesome raid. Thank you very, very much. Dude, Crisis Core is awesome. I hope you really enjoy it. No opposite of hearts, Jared. Hegel sacrificed 24 hours uh, no sleep for an awesome children's charity, okay? Now, all the hearts. <laughs> and, and none of the Baja Blast hot sauce. <laughs> None of the Baja Blast. But get some good sleep, dude. You definitely you definitely need it. <laughs> and uh 
see you real soon, man. Uh, oh no. Ooh, we locked out there. something to work with here, buddy. Give me something to work with. Of course he wants to run. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Viridian Amber Medallion. Plus one. Let's check this thing out. Oh. It's my ringtone. <laughs> Not sure if anybody knows what song that is. Uh, let's see here. So that's an accessory, right? So does that go here? Greatly raises maximum stamina. Yes, that is nice. That was definitely worth it. So what do we want to... I don't hardly ever use guard counters. So let's definitely throw that on there. Oh, wow. Look at that stamina. All right. So it's... Let's, like, even it up with something. So the stamina is right on that flagpole. And if we remove it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that that is significant. Yeah, that was worth it. Oh, baby, it's worth it. Um, let's definitely get ourselves uh, up here to the side of grace. Get some good rest, Hegel, and uh, I bet I'll be there for at least a little bit of your stream tomorrow morning. We'll see how early I get up, but let's uh, give you uh, one of these shout-outs on your way out the door if you're heading to sleep, dude. And I'm just going to build my endurance still until I hit uh, the same level as my vigor, and then we'll uh, bring the vigor up. The more endurance, the more spam rolling I can do. And that's important. Uh, this looks fortified. Just a bit. Shield boy. Am I crouching? I can't tell. Dizzy, I guess. All right. There's stuff up there, but I want to go down to this tree. Uh, and let's make sure this uh, trebuchet isn't uh, launching stuff at me when I'm down there. That could be quite uh, annoying. other trebuchets in the area? Uh, there are. Uh, let's take care of 
all of these. We don't need any siege weapons smacking us over down there. there too. I guess we need to go up there. Okay. Come on. Let me jump off. There's a dude on a horse that looks like a tree sentinel. So I'm just... Oh, no, that was too far of a jump. <laughs> that was too far of a jump. Boy, we're getting that death counter up tonight. It hadn't got a workout in a while. Forgot. Poor Death Counter was not ready for some Elden Ring. It was not ready. You know what? Let's just see what happens if we go down here. Uh, siege weapons are definitely quite busted. Four toed foul foot. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It's cool architecture down through here with this broken bridge and all that. Um, am I going to be able to drop down through this? What is that? That looks like a titan. <laughs> that is frightening. Oh no. I went into the whatever that is. That is disgusting. Not 
not a fan of these enemies. slugged. Chonky rolling. this up here that is hauntingly beautiful dudes are in a very bad way. So we're at the minor Erd tree, but there's definitely no, uh, not seeing a Erd tree avatar here, which is interesting. Because all the minor Erd trees we've seen so far have had a, uh, avatar. sunflowers though oh unless the avatar's up there let's go up there This is Danger City right here. Worm face. I mean, very adequate uh, descriptor. Is 
out of there. like that city. Yep. <laughs> Dang. That was almost first try. Really close. I think we're going to skip a prediction on this one. <laughs> I guess we can just see how many attempts it's going to take. So we can do boss and it one of those worm face. Of course, I need to uh, pull that back on the screen. All right, so my runes are on back around the other side here. to it. Oh. Wow. Okay. That's some interesting uh, death plight there. It's a new status uh, effect that I haven't seen yet. All right. Let's see where we can uh, get over to there. Uh, I think if we kind of take a right and loop back this way, this is maybe the right play here. Wait, is this guardian garb? Squelching noises are just uh, not comforting. Does this have uh, some protection against the, uh, the other stuff? Killer robe is nice. Let's give that a go. Maybe the exile hood. Gloves, and the boots. And we're still medium, right? All right. Find a mid roll. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> I think we might need to put our lantern on. It's just a little tough to see in there, too. You know what would be really cool is if uh, after beating this, it uh, frees up this forest from its blight. That would be so cool. some damage on it, so it's technically an attempt, right? 
technically counts. Wow. This area is very cool, though. Really haunting. Just curious on the backstory. And that's, it's part of the trouble with these games, right? They give you this uh, big, beautiful world to play in. And then the backstory of things is uh, so tough to uh, find. Like, you really have to dig into it. Worm face is a weird one. To say the very least. want is for it to come out of this little enclosed area uh, but of course it's like nah this is my battleground <laughs> you get to fight in my battleground this is how this works okay woolly this is how this works PS5 is loving the frame rate right now. Must be this low light stuff that's just uh, tough to handle. face. How about you come out here, huh? Oh, jeez. going well prince leo how are you doing dude how was your tuesday it's so weird to say that i'm so used to streaming on mondays <laughs> how's your tuesday man and uh ggs on beating uh uh luigi's mansion too by the way I say two as in T-O-O. -O. Uh, it was actually Luigi's Mansion 3. <laughs> oh, boy. Stop. Oh, no. I feel like I'm going to die. Felt like I was going to fall off a cliff there or something. Mad busy. I, I feel you. Today was pretty crazy at work for me as well. I uh, don't like this. Oh boy. That was quick. Yeah, the damage. 
damage is insane. Damage is really insane on this boss. <laughs> I will get some beer here shortly. Coco, thank you. Yeah. Face is down. We got the Crimson Spill Crystal tier. And the Speckled Hard tier. Okay. Coco, thanks for the beer. Good to see you. Cheers, cheers. Um, yeah, so that was uh, a very interesting boss. To say the very least. Uh, <laughs> but I finished it for a second there. I thought I was going to call it and we'll have to beat it next time. The design of the final battle was intense. Yeah, the, the boo battle. The boo battle was a uh, very interesting. <laughs> and it just seems like they give you very little opportunity for an offensive strike. It was like mostly a defensive battle. Not a fan of these enemies, uh, by any means. It's a very rough area of the game. Uh, let's see here. So I don't know if I'm ready for this area yet. Yeah, we got through two bosses tonight already. We got through um, uh, one of the Catacombs bosses, which was the uh, Misbegotten Warrior and Perfumer Trisha. And then we got through this one here, which is the uh, Worm Face. Very appropriately titled. All right. Let's see if we can go talk to this... Uh, finger reading clone here and this looks like that might be an ever jail or crone not clone yeah defense and timing 90 percent of the time yeah and it just like uh the timing on those bombs was really difficult too because like the bombs that would kick out for you were like uh Like, one of them was ready to explode right away, and then the other one was the one that you needed. Yeah, just difficult. <laughs> hey, thanks for the applause. Uh, I doubt we can get up this way. Even with our mount, I don't think we can do it. That's not going to be possible. Oof. We almost fell to our death there. Oh, 
We got death blighted. <laughs> Isn't that a rough way to go? That you basically turn into a tree? I wonder if that's what the whole forest is from. All right. So now that we've done that. So here's another tree over here. Maybe we go to our left. And check out this other Erd tree. Ooh, golden rune, very nice. Oh, you know what? We had a good amount of runes there. That we could probably level with, so let's at least go get our runes back. Right there. That's going to be a tough one to, uh, to pull off here, but it's worth a try. Oh, my lord. Okay, get up. didn't see this either. Uh, let's get this seed. Oof. Lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Okay. Might be out of range here now. <laughs> uh, that was pretty rough. Oh, that sound made me think I uh, had gotten killed there, but we survived. Hopefully your week's been off to a great start, Leo. Um, I got the opportunity to go to a concert with some friends last night, so uh, that is what I was up to last night and why I'm streaming tonight instead. It was nice. I haven't been out to uh, live music in a long time, so it... Uh, Pretty nice to uh, be able to do that. <laughs> Super horsepower, indeed. Um, just hope we can get down where we need to. Get our runes. And get out of dodge. It's my beer, but you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Uh, Lucius, welcome in. Let me uh, give you a proper shout out here. And Raiders, welcome on in. Uh, Seti OCE, uh, please correct me if I mispronounce your name. Uh, how was your stream? How was your stream, Lucius? What were you playing? Backroom Society. I uh, don't know if I've ever heard of that, but uh, feel free to tell us as much or as little as you want about it. <laughs> and you just got done streaming too, so if you need a raid and run, I totally, totally understand. Take care of those post-stream self-care needs. Hydration, food, you name it. Uh, not kicking you out. You're more than welcome to stay as long as you wish. Jose, good to see you. Good to see you. 
Uh, if any of the Raiders haven't met my puppy dogs before, Roxy's a Jack Russell on the left. Uh, she's 14. Lucy's a Shih Tzu on the right. She's five. And our little boy, Charlie, who just joined us uh, in September, is on vacation with my partner. Uh, so they'll be back uh, this weekend. So Charlie will be rejoining us on stream next week. And uh, Charlie is a seven-year-old uh, Pomeranian mix. All of them infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people, they hang out for them. Um, my mediocre gameplay and very terrible puns are just side content compared to the puppy dogs. <laughs> Stream was good. Uh, weird indie game that I thought would be awful, but was actually a lot of fun. Hey, isn't that always a great surprise? Isn't that always just a great surprise when you're playing a game, expecting the worst, and it's like, you know what? This is actually kind of nice. <laughs> this is actually kind of nice. But cheers, Raiders. I'm going to give you a hydration cheers because I need some more hydration. And most people do, so. And Prince Leo, I saw uh, Puddle's Pity Party last night. With uh, If anybody is familiar, uh, Puddle's is a singing clown and has been featured on a lot of songs uh, that uh, Postmodern Jukebox has done. Uh, and it was uh, a lot of fun. Uh, have a good stream. Be lurking. Please take care of yourself. Can we get some hearts in chat uh, for Lucius, please? Uh, get some sleeps and uh, please take care. Um, I think I gave you a proper shout out. I believe I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> I have to double check sometimes. So this was the uh, Vans collaboration they did with uh, Hydro Flask. So it's like the uh, waffle uh, bottom of a, a Vans uh, shoe. Yeah, I, I saw it and I didn't have a hydro flask and I was looking into getting one anyway. I'm like, I saw that. I'm like, I have to. <laughs> I have been wearing Vans shoes forever. So I'm like, I need this. <laughs> They're awesome. Hydro flask, uh, Clean Canteen is another big brand uh, of those. And I'm a big fan of, of both of them. Uh, I have a couple of Clean Canteen bottles that I've had for like, 12 years now uh so they last i think i've had to replace a couple lids but otherwise like stainless steel it just keeps all right so the tree is off to my right and then we just kind of need to keep going straight oh wait i'll give you uh you know some gameplay <laughs> so you can see what I'm doing instead of me just uh, describing it. Oh no, we've got a uh, big boy archer up here that definitely needs to go down. Oh, and he's got a friend. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Remain stickerless. I told myself, uh, yep, that's fair. a good way to hide the uh, war wounds, if you will. Uh, our other buddy is wanting to come get us, I think. Get out of there. Yeah, maybe there's a side of grace. No, there's just uh, more baddies up here. There's more big, big meanies. Oh, sniped. Heal. There we go. There we go. Let's give him a good old stab in the belly here. That helps out. Enjoy your lurk, Jose. Thank you for coming over with the uh, the Lucius raid. And uh, always happy to talk water bottle things with people. It's an odd thing that, uh, you know, people wouldn't think is a huge deal, but it really is.
Oh! I'm like, where are you going? But he's going to throw rocks at me. Jobs are hobbies that require a lot of talking or hydration. Yep. <laughs> and uh, ones that keep things cold, too. If you're uh, needing to keep large quantities for a great period of time, you need to keep it cool. Let's bring you up here where you're away from your buddy that can shoot me, huh? reach on this dude is phenomenal. spent our stamina and we deserve that. Uh, come on now. He's almost ape-like, where he's uh, relying a lot on his hands, but I'm wondering if we're ever going to knock him down like that. There we go. Ooh, we got his halberd. Sweet. They're called golems. Uh, all right. Now let's proceed down here with caution, of course. We're not going to throw that to the wind just yet. We need to take this guy out. Yeah, he's got those exposed ankles, so... He's uh, easier to take down. Oh, man. These enemies are just so cool. All right, there's got to be a side of grace somewhere here. Let's see if we can find one. I mean, it's not too awfully far from there, but... Uh... There's got to be a side of grace. Somewhere over here why I don't have to fight those guys every single time. This whole land is just absolutely beautiful. You know, I can see why people played this for hundreds of hours, because it's just a lot of fun. You just kind of wander around and smack stuff <laughs> with a big sword. It's just a lot of fun. So I don't know what these things do, but there's been a lot of those. Um, and I've lit like a couple of them. See this, I'm not ready to fight this guy. Oh. 
Oh, buddy. I can't even get through there. Yeah, I'm not ready for this. I'm definitely not ready for this. I feel like I need a more powerful weapon. Or maybe we just go the low road. You know? Oh, 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 wow, that was close. Very, very close there. <laughs> Sorry if anybody else has fear of heights like I do. That uh, was just a bit triggering, to say the least. In a bear now? This whole place is just danger. What do we got here? Oh, that just... Oh. Okay, that wasn't... what I wanted. Yeah, that's a bit better. That's a bit better. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready to joust with that thing, Jared. It seems pretty scary. Seems like a lot a bit scary. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. And that went nowhere. everywhere. I think it's rotating as it's going down. It was hard to tell. Sweet. Ariza Heroes Cave. charge to our flask and 
also level up. And we're getting to the point where we can actually, we have that uh, one item we got from the Margit 2.0. So let's do uh, some bigger, get some more HP going. We have a key. I don't know if we have one. Oh, we do. Sweet. Oh, Basilisk. Wonderful. One of the worst enemies in Dark Souls, and it's returned. Of course I got death blighted, but at least we got our uh, side of grace, so that's good. That's good. 29, are we going to do even 30 deaths on the night? should uh, check that out. And maybe that wasn't worth it. <laughs> uh, it looked like a sword. Oh, we need more faith to use it. And it looks like it scales evenly. We haven't uh, put any stats into faith yet. Sword made to commemorate the death of Godwin the Golden, first of the demigods to die. Infused with the humble prayer of a young boy, O oh brother, Lord, brother, please die a true death. Uh, raise the epitaph to grant the effect of sacred order to yourself and allies in the vicinity. Uh, particularly effective at laying to rest those who live in death. Oh, cool. So it uh, it's useful against cursed enemies or like skeletons, which I'm guessing might be pretty useful in here. Oh, good lord. Okay. All right, so I need to dip in one of those sides as it does its thing so I can get to the bottom. Yeah, I just stood there. Let it kill me. I guess I'm gonna have to just run for it as soon as it gets past me, going going upward. Oh, oh no, I panicked. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, 
not for long. <laughs> hey, Crunchy, welcome in. Yeah, this is awful, Jared. Just chill out so I don't get death blighted hey, here. Hey, that is my beer. But you're more than welcome to grab a pint and chill out here. Chronic, welcome on in, dude. How was your stream? How are you doing? Uh, what were you playing? Ooh, some Final Fantasy 16. Um, I am about five plays into 16, so I don't want to ask you too much about the story because I might get spoiled, but... How are you enjoying it so far? 16 is amazing. <laughs> I'm absolutely in love with that game. I'll give you a proper shout out here, dude. Uh, welcome on in, Raiders. My name is Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Elden Ring. And if you haven't been here before, let me introduce you to my puppy dogs. Uh, Roxy's the Jack Russell on the left. She's 14. Lucy's the Shih Tzu on the right, and she is five. And our little boy, Charlie, who recently joined us, is seven. And he's on vacation with my partner, but they're returning this weekend. So Charlie will be back in stream starting next week. And all the puppies just infinitely more adorable and awesome than I could ever be. So people really hang out for them. Mediocre gameplay and terrible puns are just side content <laughs> compared to the puppies. But welcome on in. Uh, it's a great game. Just haven't had much time to play it. Dude, it's a big game. I've been doing well, doing well. And uh, also to answer Crunchy's uh, question too, uh, stream has been going well. Uh, copious amounts of death, but uh, we're making progress in Elden Ring. <laughs> we got two bosses down tonight, which feels good. Uh, no big story bosses to speak of, but that's okay. That's okay. And if you need a raid and run uh, chronic to take care of any post stream self care needs, please do so. I do want to make sure uh, you take care of yourself. And uh, same with our raiders too that came over. Uh, feel free to take care of those uh, after stream needs if you need to. I'm not kicking you out, but uh, please stay as as long as you wish. Oh, these are awful. Nope. 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 He's going to crawl out of it this way. Yeah, the basilisks in these games are always awful. Oh, dude, please get some rest. And uh, hope to see you real soon, dude. Please take care. I've already stayed up way too late myself, so I should probably raid out here soon so I can get some rest before work tomorrow. <laughs> But please, definitely another round of hearts uh, for Chronic. Take care, dude. Have wonderful rest, and hope to see you real soon. Okay, I thought it was a uh, place to go back there. But let's. Oh, nope. And it's gonna crawl out of it this way. Maybe. There we go. Another one waiting back here. Oh, this is delightful. This is baiting me with that item, too. So I don't know which way I need to go here. I'm guessing upward. Oh, oh, I was too close to it. Hot <laughs> all that way for nothing. That's all right. That's all right. 
Now I, I know some of the mechanic of what's happening here. There's no skellies over here. Nice. Take them out. Okay, so left is the way to go. Left is definitely the way to go. Come on. Run. Run, 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 run. Run, Wooly, run. spot up there. I don't think I can go that way. Definitely not going to the back of the room again. Wooly can learn. It is possible. Lord. Lordy, Lord, Lord, Lord. Oof. Nope. Okay, so that's where I started at. So... We'll give it about another 10 minutes and then I'll have to raid out. like way up there.
Reaper. That's really nice. And then this guy is going to jump again. Oh, there was a spot right there that I probably needed to go. Nope, I needed to run over the other way. All right, so we've lost those. I think I know where to go now. That's the important part. This bit is tough. Something with that dude shining that, that uh, feels like I have to do something about it. he goes down, I need to try to get, there's a thing in the middle. Yep. Oh, nice. Good surprise there. Okay. This was a cool little puzzle. Please don't murder me right here. <laughs> too far. There's a statue, so that's a good sign.
Yeah, can't be that easy. Upstairs, please. Upstairs. Skellies. Skellies. Come on, Skellies. If they only had a brain. gonna say that would be pretty cheap of them to put more of them right here all right this got to be a boss so i'm gonna throw up a prediction we're, we're gonna give it at least a few tries tonight i don't know how crazy it's gonna be but we'll find out right <laughs> there's an ad starting soon for our non-sub friends as well uh if you think i'll get on first try answer uh with first try otherwise we have a two through five six to ten or eleven plus Feel free to vote in the poll if you want to, or uh, rather cast some channel points into the uh, prediction here. It'll be live for the next uh, couple minutes. Give you some of the puppies while we wait. Oh, Lucy Dog. Lucy Goose. <laughs> How you doing, puppy? Hmm? How you doing? Good girl. Good puppy dog. Oh, good girl. All right. We're going to jump in this room here and see how... Uh, see how this fares. We'll leave the prediction open. Oh, Crucible Knight and Crucible Knight. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm very underpowered for this. Because uh, I couldn't do the Crucible Knight at the Ever Jail. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this. This is truly awful. <laughs> An HP in a dream, it seems. There's no way that's happening. Definitely not tonight. Wow. Okay, so I think I'm entering some areas that I should probably not be in yet, is, is my guess. Yeah, that feels just a bit outnumbered. Let's see what we got for... Um... I want to take a peek at my 
cold runes here. Five thousand, okay. And then what about our other ones? Two thousand off of that one. Okay. So definitely not getting a level up out of this. No, not even close. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's where we can uh, definitely call it. I don't, still don't think I have any Ashes of War, or I don't think you can put Ashes of War on the, uh, the weapon that I have. Yeah, it might be some time that I uh, take a look at some other weapons, which would not be a bad idea. Even though this one is just so good. <laughs> it's going to be tough to put that one down. That's all right. That's where we'll end it for the evening, I believe. We are now at room level 56 with Papu. We're at the Ariza Hero's Grave uh, after just getting absolutely murdered by the... Uh, crucible night duo and 39 hours into the game i'm excited to pick this up next week because uh it's been a while and uh once we kind of you know de-rest a little further i think i think we'll be in uh, some fighting shape at least i hope that's the big hope anyway cancel that uh prediction since we uh didn't actually beat the boss and that menu music goes way harder than it needs to, so I'm going to give you a little bit of background music while we find somebody to raid out to. Uh, let me take a peek here. And also, give you some puppies. Some more puppies while we find our raid target. I want to say a huge congratulations to... Uh, Huge congratulations to all the people that were accepted into the Twitch Women's Guild recently. Uh, quite a few from the stream team I belong to. Uh, quite a few of uh, just uh, content creators that I admire or look up to. Uh, so definitely check out any of the uh, content creators that are part of the Twitch uh, Women's Guild. That is uh, huge, huge uh, GG's on uh, being accepted into that. Let's see who's live. Who's on tonight? Uh, so we could raid uh, the captain of the stream team I belong to, the Treppies. Uh, B is playing some Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, let's see. Or we could raid uh, Kyler. Kyler is playing uh, Metal Gear Solid for the first time and in Meryl cosplay as well. Yeah, let's raid over there. I don't know if I've actually ever raided Kyler, so let's uh, let's see. Let's just make sure that they're not on a be right back or uh, about to end stream. And uh, let's see here. They are on a heavy boss battle, and this is their first playthrough. So please, please, um, no spoilers. Uh, for Kyler. And I need to craft a raid message uh, since we are uh, out of the scary month. So give me just a few moments to put one of those together. Uh, let's see here. Let's just do just a real simple one. Just going to do a woolly raid. So here is your raid message for subs and non-subs. Bear with me one second while I get you one. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can find a pumpkin since it's uh, that time of year. Uh, it looks like a jack-o'-lantern, but that's all right. That's all right. Holy raid, and then I need the, uh, let's see. There we go.
Um, that didn't quite work. Let me do proper spaces and I'm sure we'll have it. There we are. There we are. So the second one for non-subs, the first one for subs there. There we are. There's a raid messages. And I'm going to give a shout out to Kyler so you know where we're going. Uh, why did that shout out not work? Underscore. Oh, helps if I spell the name correctly, huh? <laughs> there we are. That's where we're heading. Thank you everyone for joining me for uh, a non-typical night for streaming as uh, we're doing uh, Tuesday night instead of uh, Monday. And we'll be back tomorrow night with some uh, more Wind Waker, some uh, Legend of Zelda. So uh, very, very exciting times there. So again, please no spoilers for Kyler as it is their, uh, their first playthrough here of Metal Gear Solid. And we're going to kick this raid off here. And let me just give you those raid messages one more time because we can. And also, if you want to keep up with us outside of stream, here are all my socials, uh, including YouTube, where I upload VODs, um, Discord. If you want to hop in there and say hello, we share pictures of uh, food, beer, puppies, all that stuff. And I know a lot of people are already parts of a lot of discords, so uh, no pressure there. If you liked what we were doing on stream, uh, consider dropping a follow, huh? Uh, if you want to know uh, when I go live. And yeah, that's it for me. Uh, we're going to raid on over to Kyler. And so have a wonderful, wonderful night, everybody. Uh, let's see if I can make sure I spell their name correctly. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Don't stay up too late playing Elden Ring. Uh, please, please stay hydrated. Uh, take care of each other. A little kindness goes a long, long way, especially during these uh, long, dark months of the winter season in the Northern Hemisphere. And uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow night with more uh, Wind Waker. Big cheers, everybody. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. And again, a huge thank you to the raids from Chronic, uh, Bilbo, and Melly the Belly. Um, it, that raid was somewhere in here. And maybe I lost track. <laughs> and of course, uh, thank you for the gifted subs as well on the hype train. You all are heckin' amazing. And we will see you tomorrow night.